executive producer of both Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. He's the architect of the Arrowverse. And now Mark Guggenheim is adding to that vast landscape with something fans are going to love, the book Arrow Fatal Legacies. Hey, Mark, thanks for joining us on Super Chat on Charlotte CW today. Hey, thanks for having me. This is Awesome, thanks. The book Arrow Fatal Legacies, all right, it's taken place in the months between seasons five and six of Arrow, and you know what we know a lot happened in that time. We got Diggle, and now spoilers if you're listening and you haven't seen this yet, Diggle, Black Siren, Thea, Slade, I love that Slade's still on the show. Who can we expect to learn more about in this book? Ooh, you know, I gotta say, Oliver, maybe not. Oliver. Uh, that may sound surprising. But I think he's got some stuff he's dealing with that he's, uh, you, you'll see it, it informs his character quite a bit and definitely informs where he's headed. In yes, yeah, Oliver is, we're seeing some big changes with his character and with the team. So are we going to meet any new characters in this book that don't appear on the show? Hmm. Uh, no. I one of the things I really wanted to do when I was breaking the story was as many people from the show as possible because that's what makes it feel like an inner kind of beginning uh, of the season. Yeah, yeah. People love the fans, and you know what? Or people love the cast members. You know they have a big question though. Okay, we left some loose ends. Who is Vigilante? Are we going to maybe find out a little bit more about who Vigilante is in the book? No, actually, you're going to find. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna plug Thursday night's episode. Ooh, you're gonna find out. Teaser. Okay, so everybody has to tune in on Thursday at nine on the CW. Um, and now you have a deep history in comics. So my question is: re, Is it rejuvenating for you to kind of step away from the screen and go back to print in times just to kind of get a fresh taste on everything? Yeah, I really love being back and forth. I've been writing comics for twelve years now, and or 17. So I've always enjoyed both mediums. Yeah. I can, you know, give myself a break. Yes. It's, yeah, you know, I, I imagine it's got to be kind of refreshing to do that. But what's so cool about this universe you've, you've created is it's a universe. And recently on Twitter, you teased that Matt Ryan's reprisal of the Constantine role on Legends of Tomorrow is coming. So how much fun has it been that you've, like, created this neat universe wherein fans can kind of cross over between all those different mediums, streaming, the television series, and the books and comics? Well, I've been really lucky that I've had to work with Greg Berlanti and Andrew Chris who, you know, they're the architects of this crazy, huge, uh, intersecting universe. But one of the decisions made very early on in the first season of Arrow before the show aired, we decided anything that was, like, high in comic, high in novel or whatever, would always happen. So anything that happened in any of these interesting projects would, you know, reflect what it actually happened. And if, was, and if, if appropriate, would be and it makes it more fun for the fans to kind of, if you're watching something, you catch a spoiler from another show. I love it. I, I love catching the little things. And especially this year, there have been a lot of crossovers with Flash seeing in the newspaper about Oliver's identity and things like that. It's great little spoiler or Easter eggs for all the fans. But let's talk about the future of Arrow. So we're in season six. We've seen big changes with Oliver's role in the team lately. Do you have an end point in mind for Oliver's tale as the Green Arrow? Um, I would say no, how it ends. We don't know when that ends. Yes. So I think I think a lot of that is dependent on you know Stephen ratings. Yep, yep, yep. Oh man, spoilers. Um, I don't want to see it end ever, but that's just me. <laughs> Keep on I going. Mean, we always say we're. we're Season six, we're halfway. Yep, yeah. We're uh, just weeks away from that epic crossover event, and that's going to feature Barry and Iris's wedding. And I know the fans want to know about this. Do you hear wedding bells for Olicity? Oh, gosh. Um, this, I, I get this question a lot. Um, suffice it to say, you know, we've already got back together, so yeah. that's something that the Olicity people. Yeah, giving them something to stay happy. And then another question I had, maybe a spoiler. He's my favorite, so I have to ask. Okay, Colton Haynes, 
He teased his return as Arsenal. When can fans expect to see him back on the show? Um, you, you can def you will definitely see him back on the show. In fact, we've been talking about him a lot. Uh, very, very recently. recently back. So we're, we're excited, but I can't, can't reveal anything. No reveals. That's because you got to watch. We have to watch. We are looking forward to everything this season has in store for the Arrowverse. And because I know we all want more, more, more fans have got to reserve a copy of Arrow Fatal Legacies now. Uh, Mark, you got any more you want to tell us about this book and when they can find it? Uh, it's out in January. James Huff did a remarkable job of writing it. And it's you know, this is sort of the second time we've done an interstitial, uh, you know, five seasons of uh, one between season two and three uh, and comic this is i think even cooler because we check off a lot of boxes and if you want a seamless connection between season five and season six this is what you want to check out yes it is and i think that's just a great thing because people are always like you know how long has it been in between seasons and now you can not only you know the exact time you're going to know exactly what happened and the fans are going to love it so arrow fatal legacies by titan books written by mark guggenheim and james r tuck is going to be released january 30th 2018. thanks so much mark for being here today on super chat we really appreciate it oh thanks for having me this is great thanks